guys, it's Sarah here with Grassroots Evolution and welcome to your monthly reading for Sagittarius, February 2019. So we are going to um, get a general message here. So just guys, take the bits that resonate, disregard the bits that don't. But know that no matter what we see in the gar cards and what guidance we get, it's up to you guys. And you know, your active free will, your Grassroots Evolution, the choices you make and steps you take to get the fulfillment that you'd like to see in your world, okay? So I'm going to take this moment to ask Archangel Michael to guard, bless, and protect this reading, as well as any of you who would ask for it. If you want your angels or guides in your life, all you need to do is ask. I'm going to ask to be used as a clear channel for the most far-reaching of you guys, Sagittarius, as well as I am going to ask Archangel Metatron to join me and my team of light, please. So first off, we're going being asked to bring in a first off a message from the Keeper of the Light Oracle. So this will be for Sagittarius, February 2019. Guys, if you have, are new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on me and uh, watching. Everybody, thank you for watching. But I want to say that um, if at the end of this it's resonated and you have not subscribed, it would be wonderful, you know, for you to join my channel and you know, hit subscribe, it'd be wonderful to have you on the journey, is what I'm saying. Okay, so we get, um, one card that came out here first was the Miriam and Sacred Vision. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries, and this is for our love in ourselves, as well as the world around us, as within, so without. You know, we, as we bring more peace and love into our world, we emanate that out from us. And we get um, Surface Bay and Ascension. Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is here. So make active choices to forgive. You know, um, forgive yourself. Forgive others so that as you step forward, each, each movement you make, each rung of the ladder as you climb, you know, this, this Ascension journey, look Say goodbye to love, with love, for places where you needed to heal. Forgive yourself and any attachment to um, any negative thought processes surrounding your past, okay? Let's see, Spirit, what else do you have for Sagittarius? Hmm. Thank you. Okay, and then we get care and compassion. So this is really taking care of yourself as well as others, you know, allow... Like, you know, like the Miriam said, sacred vision, choose to forgive in order to heal and see the light in all, right? Move into your true self and step from the darkness into the light. Now this one is Quan Yin and she is a divine rebel. Pearl is often associated with her, but choose to be loved. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. When we can ascend and almost and transcend past fear and negativity, and these are all really powerful, uplifting cards. When we can choose to be love and actively, you know, of our own free will, release places that we held attachments to hurt and see the love and the light in every situation. And what that means is to see the lesson. Why was it here? How can I bring love to it and heal the situation? And it really may be, you know, going into this time space where you can stop yourself um, and, you know, see the places you need forgiveness in your world. I am also being guided to bring in some rose quartz. And um, this is black obsidian, but pink and black, grounded and centered in your own heart and your own knowing of your own inner worth and you know help the people around you and if that's something that you know it could be starting with yourself get get good and get right with yourself the more we start to heal the better off it is and as we heal and as we ascend and as we spread this out into you know the broader world around us and um bring this love and compassion to more and more people it's almost like that energetic transfer it will continue going okay 
So I'm asked to see the bottom of the check, and we get missile check, and I can't say his name, but higher learning. So you've learned from your experience, more inner study is now required to go further in the process. So if every experience along the ladder that we say goodbye to with love, we go up again. And it doesn't mean that because we forget the past, we forget the lesson, right? It's still time to go up higher. You know, every time we climb, every footstep we take, we're going to get new new encounters and new lessons, and we're going to learn new things about ourselves. And it's really awesome if we can come to that and come to our world with care and compassion and just show show the world what goodness looks like is what I'm hearing, right? Set an example and be be the change you want to see. Hmm. I'm going to bring in an earth magic, guys. So Sagittarius, earth magic for February 2014. What message do you have for anyone who's watching this? To go with whatever is on the top here or any extra messages? Thank you. Got two, and one that flipped outright is harmony and music. And I'm hearing like divine symphony orchestra. There are all these different pieces and different parts. And each each musician has different notes that they hit and different places where um, they get their solos and their time to shine. And it's sort of like with this kind of orchestra, it's not one but many, it's many but one kind of thing, if this makes sense. And this is harmony. And it's like every working together to create beautiful music, to allow everyone to play the notes that they need to play and bring the care and compassion to it as seeing that all of these different notes, all of these different instruments can play something in such a way that is truly music to our ears. And when we allow ourselves to be light and when we bring healing into our world, it's like you can finally hear the song your heart's been trying to sing. Also, along your healing journey, uh, as you're releasing anything, as you're moving up into higher realms, music is so much, so much of thoughts and expressions and our emotional um, ability to connect with music. It could be if you're purging on the way to release, right? As we're seeing the, the better things, maybe listening to happy music, things that are, make us uplifting, um, we always have a choice in how we, well, I'm hearing choose to feel, but we don't always have control over how we feel, but we have a control over how we react. And as well as whether we wallow in these moments that we don't feel great, or whether we try and find ways to uplift ourselves, because they will pass times where you don't feel great, once you bring it to conscious awareness on what was the lesson I had to learn, bring this inner study, things fall into harmony and music is important. I lost my train of thought and that happened, sorry guys, but reflection as well. So we get, this is the winter solstice, but in the stillness, there is this quiet, perfect, beautiful reflection. And winter is beautiful. I absolutely love, you know, just listening to the sky. I know it sounds weird, but listening to the trees as they move. And, you know, you hear them cracking in the cold. And it's like, no matter what elements the trees endure, no matter the cold climate outside, they're still fine in there in, um... There's, there's there's here but this is stillness and the beauty of quiet reflection so if you are in this time of reflection it's like this is emotions frozen in time can you go to this place that brings that needs light shine shine down on it or forgiveness brought to it cause the the still reflection to see it you know in a, a still frame encapsulated there and it may even be that, you know, for music and harmony on your healing path, you know, listening to healing frequency music. I really like um, 432 Hertz, uh, just bringing positivity. 
You can also look up a lot of different ones, even maybe healing music for forgiveness. You're going to find, sorry guys, my eyes itchy. <laughs> But you're going to find a lot of different frequencies as well when you go through there. But listening to your favorite music could even be stuff like, um, for some reason, my YouTube account <laughs> thought I wanted to listen to Dance Mix 95 earlier. <laughs> I was like, what? Um, that's a long time ago. So it could be, you know, while you're, you're taking this time, remember that you've had a lot of lives in this lifetime. And Dance Mix 95 certainly took me back a little bit. It could be right now with your music, if there's places you've needed to heal. I'm hearing even songs that used to make you cry. They may make, they may bring healing to you now. And the bottom of the deck is Communion. And I'm going to show you this because under it was Promise, Power, <laughs> Rebirth, and Earth Magic. And why I brought so many here is that it is really important for you to have communication with your higher self. Your communication with spirit. And we see the sun here, right? And Or it could be the moon, but it is the eagle and this void of light, this tunnel of darkness all around it. But there is communication here. Pay attention to your own inner communication through the reflections of... Um, Try and see what spirit is trying to show you. Because I'm feeling like with whatever lessons that you're learning, spirit kind of always gives us little nudges to say, you know, you're going to have a heads up. If you listen um, carefully, oftentimes you're given little clues and you know before a giant catastrophic event is going to happen. Now, how I feel is that what is happening is, for you, Sagittarius, there's new moon promise. So, I'm not sure when the new moon is in February, but this could be a perfect time to assert your power. Lightning is such a beautiful card. It can wield so much power, right? It's one click swapped. And you see it over here, it's electrifying, and it's power electrifying emotions. And... We have rebirth here and the spring equinox. And this is logical progression, I feel like, from winter to spring. And this is rebirth. If we listen to our own inner knowing and our own higher selves, I feel like birds may be important if you're outside. With this winter solstice, could be get out into nature. But they're like little, little shapeshifters. They come to bring messages for us or confirmation of spirit at times so pay attention to the signs that you're receiving your power and your power source it's infinite you have the ability to to really transcend fears and go beyond new new heights is what i'm hearing like you can bring new promise to your world use and believe in the magic that's available to you use the moon use your own creative ability your creative co-creative ability Bring your light forward in a way that helps others shine as well, no matter how small. And be willing to see the magic and the beauty that this world has to offer. Set your intentions with the new moon. Do it knowing that it's powerful. Your intentions and your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. And they've got the the power to light up the night sky. So it could be um, February 1st coming up as Imbolc. We also have um, a lot more. This could be time as well that something coming into the spring could be important for you. But I'm also feeling this is really rebirth. This is really time to shine. This is time to know your power. Know your worth. Know your connection to spirit. And come anewed. Heal yourself. Allow forgiveness. And as I said that, I shot power down to the floor. So don't, uh, like, I'm hearing, like, no misuse of power, but you may also be healing, potentially, um, some of the places where power has been 
associated negatively to you whether someone's had power over you you've had power over um, not feeling powerful in your own self feelings of needing to be heard and needing to be seen how can you heal that and bring light to the situation and assert your own power okay we're going to ask a message from the um, John Holland psychic tarot oracle as well We've got heartache and on the bottom there but that's where it's like that's what needs to heal right healing is happening but as we heal, we, we teach ourselves love, right? And as we love ourselves, there are there is really no limits to what we feel like we can do. And it, there's freedom. So Spirit, for Sagittarius, February 2019. Right. Tell me about this new promise. Let's see this. What is the new promise? For Sagittarius. Thank you. We get sacral, and this is also about fertility. Um, this could be, you know, that you want to be bringing in, um, this is, I believe it's carnelian, <clears throat> but you may be wanting to bring some orange stones in, wear orange. You may be feeling some energy if you're a woman, um, could be, you know, very fertile. Definitely time to be creative and brainstorming and birthing of new ideas and I see that this is the kind of like the orange color in the sun I believe it's sunset there but it's like there's promise and there's beauty there and there's so much creative energy um, if you, okay I want to put this here if you are a woman and you I know my okay I'm gonna <laughs> weird but I have felt um, like energy stirs in like a womb area and this is what this is women okay so if you're feeling stirs there and you know for a matter of fact you're not pregnant it could be energetic but also could be health issues just saying but um universe kind of pings us with energy and where we need to go and this is what is the new promise the new promise is fertile energy something that is very very creative about this. Let's get some more information on this fertile sacral energy. And we get the root chakra base. Um, you can bring red, brown, black, anything to ground you in. And this is definitely your descending power, your lower chakra regions. Um, I'm hearing sexuality as well. Definitely. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <clears throat> music could be a little bump and grind a little boys to men just saying <laughs> it's terrible but that's what spirit gave me so take what resonates guys I have um, not the cleanest mind at times and spirit also concurs with that so two root chakras what is the root to the issue what is the place that needs to be healed what is your core belief that is getting in your way this is brand new starts as well in the rooted physical. So if there's anything that's um, stopping you in this area of reflection from moving forward, bring healing, forgiveness, put it to rest, move on, because there is something really coming into your world. And I feel like rebirth, um, some of you may be really feeling like you're feeling alive again, coming back to life. Spirit, what is coming? Thank you. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> so some of you may really be getting pregnant. So if you want to have babies, awesome. If you don't, you should take some precautions. Just saying. But springtime's coming up and I think it's our animal instinct to get a little frolicky and frisky. And as I say that, she's holding the bunny and we have the robin's egg for new life and new promise. And this is where the animals are just starting to really wake up. You, you can see here with fertility, which is also sacral energy, but this is heart-centered. As we connect with our heart, we create from this heart-centered place. This is so powerful. So maybe it's important that while you are such a creative individual, 
I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> it may be time to take some time for you. Take some time to rest. This is meditation. Figure out where, you know, where you need to to put your focus in this physical world and take the time to rest. If you are pregnant and fertile as well, um, resting is important because our bodies create little humans. I'm going to get some tarot wisdom here from the line strider. Spirit, can you tell me about the root chakra and the base? And the base foundation is number four as well. So this would be basically the four of pentacles, rooted, home, stability, your backbone here, your strength your journey here with the mountain as well like what do you stand for and this is the lovers and the choice this could even be within your life really looking at your core values on what do I see as love and how do I am I rethinking this how you know um, are there places in my love life where I feel I've been wronged by others I've wronged others are there places where I am blocking my abundance and my flow um, is there anywhere where I need to bring peace is there how can I bring and be love in my romantic relationships in my relationships that are on a caring and intimate level. And the lovers. And if you look, actually, there is orange and red all around these. And this is very, very sexual energy as well. This is magnetic attraction, I'm hearing, and magnificent as well as what I'm hearing. But these two, um, I'm not sure if they're storks or cranes or what they are, but they are entwined around each other as well. So I feel like there is a choice as well. Let's find out. Come to the lovers. Alright, so a bunch fell out, but this one fell out upright. So we have the world. Changes and completions, but this is also with rebirth, new cycles, new cycles of love, could be brand new um, with this new promise here, brand, brand, brand new idea.